Hi everyone, and welcome to this micro talk about machine learning for microcontrollers, and a quick introduction to the EMLearn open source software package. My name is Yun Nurbe, and I'm the head of data science at SoundSensing. We are a leading provider of predictive maintenance solutions for buildings and ventilation systems. Machine learning is applied in more and more fields, covering a diverse set of applications. When it comes to machine learning for microcontrollers, we're obviously not going to be running any large language models or generative image models. But one use case where machine learning is incredibly useful is in analyzing sensor data. Sensors, such as accelerometers, microphones, radars, cameras, etc., have gotten incredibly cheap and powerful. But in order to get useful information out of these, the raw data must typically be processed. Using machine learning in combination with digital signal processing allows analyzing complex phenomena. If this is done on the microcontroller, we get a range of benefits. We can build a standalone system, which has low latency and is not dependent on any network. And you can make it very power efficient as well as preserve privacy because you do not need to transmit the raw and potentially sensitive sensor data. The component in blue is the machine learning model itself. It is typically trained ahead of time on a PC before being deployed on the device. Here is an example of a practical project, analyzing cattle activity using an accelerometer. A decision tree model is used to analyze the accelerometer data and classify it into the activity of the cow, lying, walking, standing, grazing, or ruminating. These categories are very compact and can be transmitted over LoRaWAN. And this data over time can be used to detect abnormal behavior, which can indicate that there are health issues, external threats, or stressors. In this project, they found that running the machine learning model directly on the sensor uses 50 times less power than transmitting the raw data, giving a huge increase in battery life. EMLearn is an open source software library that being, can be used to implement such projects. It provides embedded friendly implementations of machine learning models, and it supports converting models trained in Python, which is the most popular programming language for machine learning and data science projects. You can either use scikit-learn or Keras, which are two very established frameworks. The code itself is portable in clean C99, which can be used in even the smallest microcontrollers because it does not need a floating point unit and the code size is very small. EMLearn supports the three most common machine learning tasks, classification, regression, and anomaly detection. It supports a selection of embedded friendly models, such as tree-based ensembles, k-nearest neighbors, neural networks, etc. Now we will quickly show how to use EMLearn. The library can be installed either as a Python package or be included as a Git submodule in your project. Training a model is done using a standard framework like scikit-learn or Keras. You will need to already have a dataset collected and labeled in order to do this. There's nothing EMLearn specific uh, of the training process, although you must use a model which is small enough to fit on your target device. We provide some tools that help you to check this. Once you have a trained model, you are ready to deploy it to the device. EMLearn provides a function to convert your trained Python model into an optimized C model and a function to save this as a generated C header file. There are a few model specific options for the conversion but for most cases, nothing needs to be specified. We also provide verification tools to check the optimized C model against the original Python model. In order to use the C code, you include the generated header file, and then you pass the data to the predict function of the model. The output can then be used to trigger relevant actions, such as controlling motors, logging of any events or send this data to an external system. In this example, we just show the model output on a display. So to summarize, 
Machine learning is useful on microcontrollers, especially to extract sensor data from to extract information from sensor data. EMLearn is an open source project which provides embedded friendly machine learning algorithms. It makes it very easy to deploy by generating portable C code. You can find more information um, about the project and how to use it on emlearn.org. Thank you very much for listening. I hope that you found it interesting and useful.